welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Monday, April 18, 2022. And the Father's word to us says, We should be strong in faith. Romans chapter 4, verse 20, the Good News Bible reads, His faith did not leave him, and he did not doubt God's promise. His faith filled him with power, and he gave praise to God. Pastor explains that Christianity is more than a religion. It is a calling to God's divine fellowship by faith, where we are brought into the household of God as His begotten and intimate children. It is more than a day to worship our relationship, but much more a father child relationship. It is a fellowship of divine love springing from faith unto faith. The Apostle Paul said, for in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. And this is in Galatians chapter 5, verse 6. Faith is a virtue of the Christian life, unlike any other. It simply is the defining factor of how you enjoy this sublime fellowship with divinity and its associated blessings. An inimitable example of faith is the life of Abraham. Scripture accounts that, though he was childless at a very old age, because of the word of God given him, he was not worried or disturbed in the least. His faith gave praise in the presence of staggering opposition to the promise of God to him. He had complete faith, the absolute trust in the word of God and his promise to him. Your faith is strong when your actions and course are not oscillated by the situations that you face but rather by the word of God. When you have received the word of God for your living, business, career, family, ministry, etc., being it a word of inspiration or instruction by the Lord, the attitude of strong faith is not hindered by the opposition that will arise, but keeps the focus on the integrity of God to his word. As a child of God, the word of God is the foundation for everything that you are about. Therefore, make it a diligent practice to give yourself to know the voice and word of God for you in every situation and build confident trust in God's word. Please let's take the declaration together. Thank you, Father, for your momentous word for me in every season of my life. I train myself in the practice of my faith by fully trusting and doing your word always under all situations. Glory to God. Today's reflection says, grow in your faith by increasing your knowledge and confidence in the word of God. As your practice of the word of God increases, your faith will soar. Read Psalm 138 verse 2, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 to 13, and Romans chapter 1 verse 17. But herald of glory, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Glorifield Chrysler, heralding the Glorious Church.